I fly the F-16, and I'm probably the luckiest man in the world because I get to do that every day. Technically, we are still at war with North Korea. We know that we could be fighting at any moment's notice. The Wolf Pack, next. Kunsan, South Korea, an airbase ready for war. Just over the horizon, a belligerent neighbor and 800 MiG fighters. Well, we woke up at 3.30 this morning, uh, got up, got ready to go to work. Bus picked us up at 4.15. We finally got in the squadron about quarter to five. They have 16 with multi-role, so we can, you know, we can drop bombs, we can shoot missiles, we can go out and dogfight, and, um, we can do casts to support the Army. So there's so much we can do in the F-16. The F-16, found wherever there is war or the threat of war, from the Middle East to the Far East. In Korea, on the front line, its tactics and capabilities are classified. Ready to go to war, here we go. <laughs> Lieutenant Matt Manifold. Tactical name, Picasso. We'll meet at the ops desk. We'll get a final weather update if there's something wrong with the airfield. Uh, maybe we're changing runways. An F-16 pilot in a fighter wing known as the Wolf Pack. At this most isolated U.S. airbase, he leads a life dedicated to the practice of his deadly trade. We're going to go out and do some uh, suppression mission, supporting about four or five other packages that are out there flying. The Coon is like the, uh, the last place where you know, fighter pilots are fighter pilots. Um, that's the biggest thing. Uh, we get over here, no one has their family. We 100% we spend on flying. North and South Korea remain deadlocked in a state of war, separated by a truce constantly violated. If they clash once again, the Wolf Pack will be the tip of the American spear. Kunsan is an air base in a condition of extreme readiness. On the tense 38th parallel, a demilitarized zone separates north from south. Here, the Cold War lives on. Two generations of South Koreans have lived under the threat of renewed war. They rebuild their economy and culture under the protection of the fighter pilots at Kunsan. The Wolf Pack's commander, Colonel David Moody. We are one of two of the most lethal fighter wings in the United States Air Force. It's stationed right here on the peninsula of South Korea. And our main job in life here is to protect the peninsula and to keep peace here. Uh, we, we bring to bear an overwhelming uh, firepower uh, to the war if need be. Uh, we're less than 10 minutes away from the border of North Korea by uh, uh, by aircraft, by F-16s, and we, we grow to be probably the largest fighter wing in the war if we're called to do so. The biggest thing on the ground is obviously getting the jet ready to go, get her ready to go, make sure she's ready to fly, and the crew chiefs get her ready, and then I just do all my um, pre-flight checks. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always been fascinated with airplanes. 
Uh, growing up in Dayton, Ohio, the birthplace of aviation with the Wright brothers, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, the Dayton Air Show, all that stuff is what uh, really drove me to uh, just love airplanes. My uncle's father had a plane when I was little, and he used to take me up flying it uh, a lot, and always been fascinated with airplanes and just, you know, love to want to do it and fly it, and it's uh, a dream come true for me. We're pressing out with about 16 airplanes. So getting everybody organized on the ground, you know, find out if, if everyone's going to make it. Is, you know, are people uh, going to break? Are people going to meet us late? Who's ready to go? Who's taxiing? Who's going to meet us out there once we get out there? The start of a two-week test of combat readiness. Pilots will fly three exhausting sorties a day. The PAX-2 squadrons will fill the sky with packages of 20 F-16s at a time the rush and surge of the real thing. The wolf pack goes to war. We all need to get to runway, and we all need to get out of there, so we got another crew down there of uh, crew chiefs and weapons guys that look us over again right before we uh, get ready to take off, and then we all get lined up there um, right at the end of the runway. You know, you gotta constantly be updating the scenario that we're playing here um, during the simulated war. You gotta update the weather, the notams. You know, the, the commanders are making different decisions. They're changing your, your package, or they're changing your targets. The best thing you do during exercise is get some sleep so everything's clear once you uh, show up at the jet. That's the uh, biggest thing. And you gotta be real flexible up in the air and on the ground as well, because you never know, you might get on the ground and the fuel truck won't be there, or you might get up in the air and the, you know, the package has slipped or the target has moved. 